That game stands out vividly. Uh, playing a good Abilene Christian team, and uh, you all remember Friday Night Lights and the stories about a uh, celebrated high school Texas coach, and he was in his first year at Abilene Christian that year. Um, went out, it was a calm evening. In fact, they had a big fair going on. You could see the Ferris wheel off in the distance. And then uh, during the warm-up, uh, we noticed lightning. Um, you know, off by where the fair and the Ferris wheel was going on. It must be commonplace for those people because they continue to let the Ferris wheel go around with lightning striking around it. Uh, but then we got into the game in the first half and uh, the lightning got too close to the stadium. So they automatically, uh, by NCAA rules, uh, sequestered us and got us off the field and we went into a uh, concrete structure. Now, the, probably the thing I remember the most about that game is the fact that our band who had not been accustomed to seeing a lot of lightning um, or those kind of thunderstorms. Um, they went there and sitting in aluminum bleachers with their tubas, and I just remember them going up to the top of the stands to see if they could see the lightning strike, uh, unbeknownst to them that they were putting themselves in a life-threatening situation. Uh, but we came back and played a great game. Um, I think we had two receivers, uh, Michael Leva, I believe, and uh, Charlie Enos, who both had uh, over 100 yards in that game. And, Great defensive efforts, uh, as I remember. Uh, Kelly Bilal, Nate Nelson in particular, and uh, it was a good win for us. And then driving back to Dallas that night was one of the most spectacular light shows I'd ever seen. The bus going on this, this uh, deserted freeway for all intent and purpose, except for our bus, and there was lightning striking all over the place. So I, I do remember that game.